Rivers. And that breaking news is coming from Sebring this evening. The EPA is taking steps to revoke Water Superintendent Jim Bates' license. Now, this is video of Jim Bates from an interview from March 2014. The EPA says Bates, quote, is not properly performing his duties in a manner that is protective of public health. Now, this is all in response to lead levels found in Sebring's drinking water. Tonight, we're covering all the angles of this developing story and have team coverage. We start off with First News reporter Tyler Trill live in Sebring. I actually called Bates on the phone today to get a response to the EPA trying to revoke his license. And I broke the news to him. He had no idea that the EPA was going through with this. He didn't want to talk on camera until he spoke to his lawyer first. Now, the EPA also has reasons to suspect that Bates has falsified reports. So it has opened an investigation and is requesting help from US, uh, the U.S. EPA's Criminal Investigation Division. We wanted to get an official response from Sebring. I called the village manager, Rick Giroux, multiple times tonight. He didn't answer. We did speak with an Ohio EPA spokesperson who says, who says Sebring has been giving um, the EPA a hard time. The games the village of Sebring was playing by giving us incomplete data um, time and time again and not submitting the required documents made it difficult for our field office to determine whether or not they had notified their customers. Now, right now, I'm outside Sebring McKinley High School, which will be closed tomorrow due to the water situation. The superintendent says this is best for the safety and well-being of the students. The EPA will be testing water here and at the elementary school in Sebring. West Branch High School, Middle School, and Preschool is also closed tomorrow. Damascus and Knox school systems will be open tomorrow, though. Now, we're still working to get more information concerning the situation here, and we'll pass it along as soon as we find out. But for now, live in Sebring, I'm Tyler Trill, WKBN 27 First News. All right, Tyler, thanks. We've put together a timeline of some of the conversations between the EPA and Sebring Water Superintendent Jim Bates. Now, all from EPA documents starting with September 25th, an EPA specialist saying he had concerns with the water samples Bates was taken. December 22nd, Jim Bates signed a letter stating that lead consumer notices were sent. January 13th, the Ohio EPA talks on the phone with Jim Bates saying Sebring must submit detailed plans for lead levels. But it wasn't until January 21st this past Thursday that the Ohio EPA stepped in and notified the public that there were high levels of lead in Sebring's water.